Cindy, have you traveled recently? No, I haven't. Yeah, huh? At my house, we haven't traveled far in over two years. It's sad. Yeah, not traveling for two years will be sad. Have you heard about any travel plans? To get away with mom friends? Or a parent and child travel plan? I haven't heard about it. I think everyone is trying to indulge in self-censorship. Is that so? I wonder when this will be done. I can't even go out and just do housework every day. I'm living a boring life. I think all housewives are thinking the same thing. If I can, I would want to go somewhere. Right? If you could travel, where would you want to go? Let me see. Like a hot spring trip. That's traditional. Might as well go somewhere more fun. Like what? I would choose Okinawa. I want to enjoy marine sports. You're very active. I think it's nice to kick back and relax. I want to enjoy good food and have a relaxing time. You are that type. Well then, if you hear anything about a mom friend trip, let me know. I will want to go. Yes, if I know someone, I will let you know. Just make sure to check with them if they will take you. Okay. One week later. I heard something. Why didn't you tell me that you're going on a trip? What? I don't have any plans for a trip. No, when I went to pick up my kid from kindergarten, I heard words like paid company trips in two weeks and luxury hot spring trips. All these key words. After hearing these key words, you have to go on a trip. There's no way you're not. Let's calm down for a second. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Are you calmer now? Yes, but you're going on a company trip? I'm not going. And why is that? Company trip is a free and fun trip. I looked up the luxury hot spring place that you mentioned, and it was a very famous hotel. Why are you saying you're not going? You should utilize the company's benefit package. Yeah, about that trip. It's such a waste. Why would you say you're not going? If it were me, I would go immediately. Oh, by any chance, is your husband attending, but you're not? Yeah, I'm not attending, but... Well then, I have a great idea. I will attend the trip as you, the husband's wife. Then my craving to travel will be satisfied. It's perfect. Can you listen to what I have to say? I know, I know. You're worried that I won't do a good job impersonating as the wife. Leave it up to me. I will do my part well. I'm excited. The trip is in two weeks. I'm sorry, but I can't follow up with the pace of this conversation. If it's a paid company trip, why don't you just go with your own company? The company my husband is working for doesn't offer company trips. It seems like they had it back in the day. It's been discontinued during this hard time. Even if they offer companies trips, there won't be a hotel where I can be satisfied with. It will probably be a rusty hotel. I will probably have to listen to the CEO's lame talk with food that isn't good. And on top of that, they may ask us to pay for our own accommodation expenses for the whole family. Really? Well, half of it is imagination, but I think it will be something like that. The company benefit package looks different in a big corporation, but you can't go pretending to be me. What? We're going back to that? Why not? If you're not going and there's a spot open, no one's going to know. Oh, wait. Are you worried that your husband and I will have an affair? You don't have to worry about that. I love my husband the most in the whole wide world, so don't worry. No, I want you to listen to what I'm trying to say. Ugh, Sandy, you're slow at replying. <laughs> oh, it's almost dinner time, so I'm going to excuse myself. Wait a minute, I'm not done with this conversation. You know I'm busy too. I don't have time for your slow replies. Bye then. Ugh, you can't just come to the trip. Why don't you listen to what people have to say? It's on you if something happens. Later, Cindy somehow got information on the time and date about the trip and was prepared to go as the pretend wife to the company's trip. Whenever she got information, she will contact me so I will refuse, but she doesn't listen. Cindy is really serious about going on the trip. The day of. Yay! Today is the long planned trip day. I will pretend as you and attend this company's trip. <laughs> it's such a waste not to attend when you could stay at this luxury hotel with a hot spring. I'm not attending because it's the client's company's company's trip. What? But when I got on the bus and said your last name's Smith, there were no issues. You know how many people have the last name Smith? When there's a gathering, there's usually a Davis or a Smith. I'm pretty sure there was an actual member named Smith. Oh, as we were talking, the bus already started to move. <laughs> if we're already moving, I'm pretty sure everything's fine. We're going to stop at a tourist area, then head to the hotel. I'm so excited. What? 
You know that when I said it's the client's company, it has nothing to do with my husband's company, right? And you still want to enjoy this trip? How tough are you? Or you just have a lot of nerve. You're fussing too much. I'm getting sleepy, so I'm going to relax now. Have to prepare for the excitement that is coming. I'm over it. I hope you have the same attitude when you get to the hotel. Arrived at the hotel. Oh, oh no. They said that there aren't any rooms available for me. And the mood is like, who is this person? Well, duh. How could you not imagine that this will happen? I just thought everything will work out once I got to the hotel. The company prepares rooms in advance. There's no way they're going to reserve the rooms with a random number. But they could just say one more person was added the day before and get a room for me like that. The company pays for that. Why would they have to spend their money on an outsider? I don't know what to do. People who are in charge are coming this way. Ugh. What? Why are you screaming? One hour later. Hey, Cindy, are you okay? It's been an hour since you sent that screaming message. I finally got released. What do you mean released? I got yelled at by the person who was in charge for the company's trip. Why do I have to get yelled at? I was here because I thought it was your husband's company trip. I was here as your replacement. If you explained it well, I didn't have to get yelled at. What is this? You want to say I'm the bad one? Yes! You know I reply slow, right? I'm going to type a long sentence, so can you wait? Oh, hold on, are you mad? Yes, so wait until I say okay. Okay, I understand. Cindy, even when I tried to explain, you never stopped talking, and kept talking at a fast pace. When you were done with your story, you wrapped it up, and didn't even give me the time to talk. Listen to what people have to say. Don't you learn this when you were a kid? I tried multiple times to explain about this company's trip, and you were the only one who didn't try to listen. Don't make me responsible. Okay, if you have an argument, go ahead. But you never mentioned about the client's company. I'm going to talk again, so wait a little, okay? Even if it's the client's company or my husband's company, company's trip isn't something an outsider can just join. Company's benefits aren't for outsiders. Also, about the client's company, I'm pretty sure your husband's company has relations with them. What? Is that true? Isn't that kind of bad? I am speaking. I'm sorry. I believe your husband's company has a subcontracting job from my husband's company, so this client company should also directly work with your husband's company. Why don't you ask your husband? Okay, go ahead. Oh no, right now I asked my husband to come pick me up. If my husband comes and realizes that there's a relation between these two companies, is there a chance that the client relation can end because of me? I think there's a chance. Um, in this situation, what's the best option? Maybe I should get out from this hotel and tell my husband not to come. What are you, stupid? Why don't you get punished by both the company and your husband? But if it's my fault that the client relation ends, my husband might take a fall and get fired from the company. If that's the case, I should leave before someone finds out about my husband. As I say this, my husband has arrived. I think you should get punished by many people. It was supposed to be a fun trip. A few days later, it was, as a matter of fact, the company that had relations with Cindy's husband's company. The husband did not know about this trip and was told that she is staying at her parents' house. The client company, instead of being mad, took in the fact that Cindy's husband had such an idiot wife. There were more voices of pity, and there was no end to the client's relations. However, the news got back to the husband's company and he got yelled at by his boss. Of course, the yelling towards Cindy from her husband lasted for a long time. The transportation fee that she used was actually the money her husband was saving up secretly. The travel plan her husband planned now has to be postponed. And finally, Cindy regretted the thing she did. Revival piece. Hey sis, where are you now? I'm at work now. For real? It's only 7am. Today I have to go to the field in the morning. The field work is hard, huh? So, what's up? Oh yeah, you took a bath this morning, didn't you? Yeah, I got in late last night and fell asleep. You know that I take showers in the morning, right? I know, but you showered around 10 a.m., don't you? I don't like taking a bath after you. You know how you're ugly? You stink and I don't want to get into a bath where those elements are in there. I don't know what to say. Just don't take morning showers from now on. But isn't it the same if I take it at night? What do you mean? 
I mean, even if I take a bath at night, wouldn't the person who takes a bath after me be you? If it's at night, it's better. If you take it right before I go in, it feels like those nasty germs are in there floating. What do you mean germs? Anyway, it is what it is. I also want to ask you something. What? When are you going to start working? What all of a sudden? Because you're already 26, right? Shouldn't you start working about now? I'm going to be a famous model. It's good to have a dream, but what are you going to do with the living expenses? I'm going to be a celebrity wife, so it doesn't concern me. What do you mean it's not your concern? Your living expenses are coming from the money I work for. Okay. I don't think this should continue forever. But I will be fine. How can you say that? Unlike you, I'm pretty. You are ugly, and the only thing you have to live for is work. But I'm different. You should be grateful to be my older sister. A few days later. Hey, I heard this from mom, but is it true that you paid off the debt? Yeah. It's my first time hearing that our parents owe money. I was in high school when I heard about it the first time, about the $50,000 debt. $50,000? Yeah, that's why I was working to pay back. Is that so? Oh, that's why you always wore ripped clothes and sped up the process by being ugly. What? Because you always didn't wear makeup and wore stinky clothes. And the debt was the reason? Yes. Oh, I see. Good for you. There was a reason for you to be born. What do you mean? Without something like this, there's no value of living. You don't have to say that. Oh, I'm going on my date. A few days later. Karen, I want to ask you something. What? Are you getting married? Why do you know? Mom said it. I told her not to. I am getting married, but it has nothing to do with you. I don't want people to know that I have an ugly sister. Is that right? That's why I excluded you from the family list. Excluded? That's right. I'm not inviting you to the wedding. Oh no, are you jealous? What do you mean jealous? Unlike you, I'm pretty and getting married and making a girl's dream come true. But there's no way you're getting married. You're ugly. Sure. You should really realize how ugly you are. Isn't God a little mean to have us as siblings? Is that so? Yeah, don't you think so too? Don't you wish you could be me? Yeah, I do have a feeling of wanting to be born as a younger sister. On top of it, working at a field job makes you more like a man, and you're okay with that? I didn't finish high school, so that was the only job I could get, and the pay was good. Huh? You probably did something very bad in your past life. Maybe. I think I was such a good person. I have been so blessed, so it has to be true. Oh, I have a meeting now about the wedding. A few days later. Hey sis, I'm working right now. You met my fiancé, didn't you? When I was talking to him today, we started talking about the field that's being developed, and it was the field you work at. Is that right? But I don't think we will ever meet. You're lying. Doesn't your fiancé work indoors? Yeah, he always wears a suit. I work in a field, so there shouldn't be a chance of me meeting him. Are you sure? That's good. But even if you do meet him, don't tell him we're family. If he finds out, it will be a broken engagement. Fine. Be careful. Okay. Okay. A few months later. I'm finally getting married. I heard from mom. Congratulations. In a few hours? It's my wedding ceremony. Good for you. Where are you now? I'm planning on going on a trip. Trip? Are you sad that you couldn't attend the wedding? Yeah, at first. But now, I get to break the curse. When I get married, I can be free from being poor and from my ugly sister. It was such a difficult life, but I'm glad I worked hard. Oh, okay. I'm going to get married and become a celebrity wife while being an Instagrammer. Then, the road to becoming a model isn't that far, so that's why I don't want you to intervene. What do you mean intervene? You are that way. My fiancé is rich. We're going to start living in a tower apartment, and our car is a foreign car. That's my reality. You live in a world where you sweat and work hard. That's why I don't want you to be in my perfect lifestyle. You don't have to tell me. That's good. But it's impressive. How are you ended up talking about marriage? He said he liked my personality. Personality? He thinks I'm a very kind-hearted person. If he finds out the truth about me, it's bad, so let's cut ties. I told him that I paid off for my parents' debt, and I also didn't tell him I have a sister, so we're cutting ties. Time for revenge. I'm glad you want to cut ties. What? I'm getting married too. Don't joke all of a sudden. It's real. Well, there are many people who like different things in this world. When are you getting married? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? 
We're having a ceremony in Hawaii, so I'm going to go now. You're having a ceremony overseas? Yes, my fiancé told me. Let's get married in Hawaii. Does that mean your fiancé is rich? I don't know. But he is a CEO who travels all over the world, so I guess so. Instead of a tower apartment, I will be living in a condo in a foreign country. What? How? Where did you meet? He came to the field to examine when we started talking and hit it off very well. What? There's no such thing. Introduce me to him. I don't mind introducing you to, but he won't be interested in you. I'm much prettier, so I can have him. Then why don't you come? That is, if you can afford to come to Hawaii. Like, that is possible. You don't even have any savings. What the hell? Oh, and let me tell you something good. What? Your fiancé is cheating on you. What? Mom showed me a picture of him, and when he came to the field, I saw he was flirting with a pretty girl. What? No! I heard she's a model for a magazine. Isn't that wonderful? You want to be a model, right? It means that he has a type, and you can qualify as a model since he was attracted to you too. I can't believe this! This sucks! Oh well. What do you mean? They say, like attracts like. You're the type to make fun of people who work hard. You're the perfect match for this cheating trash. I'm going to cancel the ceremony. I'm going to talk to mom about this right now. You can't do that. Why not? Because mom and dad are coming with me to Hawaii. What do you mean? When you were being terrible to me, mom and dad were on my side. They decided to not attend your ceremony. What? Even your parents abandoned you. What do you mean, abandoned? I never heard anything about that. You messaged me that you're cutting ties with me. I showed that message to mom and dad, and then they both said they're cutting ties with you. Why are they choosing you over me? It's because they saw how hard I've been working. I wanted to go to college. There were things I wanted to do more. Then you should have. That can't be a heartwarming story. The reason I couldn't was because of you. What? We decided to let you go to college. We wanted you to work or study whatever you wanted to do. That can't be. What did you do after you graduated college? You didn't even look for a job, didn't help at the house, and was playing around every day. And you even stole money from mom's wallet. It's obvious that even family members will feel disgusted by that. I'm sorry. It's too late. I'm going to have a change of heart. You had multiple chances to do that. Don't say that. You really think you could do something that you've never done before? Yes, I can. I'm done. You're not really trying to cut ties with me, are you? You're the one who said it. I know, but I said it impulsively. It wasn't for real. You only say that because you heard about my fiancé. No, that's not it. I told my fiancé that I have a little sister. So, that means... But I told him we cut ties. Don't say that. Well, I'm going to board the plane. A few hours later. Susan, I wasn't able to have the wedding ceremony. Hey, are you listening? I'm busy with tomorrow's preparation. My fiancé left me. Oh, and it's not just about the wedding. He chose the girl you told me about. Oh, yeah? I want to make up with my family, so I want to go to Hawaii tomorrow. Why? I'm very hurt, so let me attend your wedding. Nah. Why? I cut ties with you, so don't come. Don't say that. Oh, yeah. After the wedding, I'm going to move abroad. So because of it, mom and dad are going to come live abroad with me. I can live abroad too? You could live on your own at the house back home. Then you won't have any issue on where to live. I want to be with my family, because how am I supposed to support myself? You're going to give me the living expenses? What are you saying? You graduated college, so go find a job. I can't. I never even had a part-time job. It's okay. When people work extremely hard, it will all be fine at the end of the day. No! Anyway, I'm going to block you now. Don't get involved with me ever again. Post Finn. After everything, Karen lives by herself at the house. It seems like she is living off her part-time job. Because of the engagement being broken in front of everyone at the ceremony, I heard from mom that she isn't in touch with her friends. By the way, even though my parents moved abroad, they are still messaging Karen, and every time she asks for my forgiveness to my parents, but I am not planning on forgiving her. I am living abroad with my husband and living a fulfilled life. I am very happy.